Hey everybody, Chris from Six Wins here with Matt. On a special occasion, we're here to review the finals of the best TV show bracket. And it came down to two shows, as most tournaments tend to do. Two yes. Things. And it was The Soprano. Is this how like Italians hold their hands when they're like... I think so. Important business meeting. That's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. They usually got a big pasta belly that they rest their hands on. The Sopranos was representing the drama side. Yeah. And the show that was representing the comedy side, South Park. My favorite show. <laughs> really of interesting matchup. Yeah, Sopranos versus South Park. How do you choose between the two? Well, we put it up to a vote yeah. and we'll reveal the winner at the end, as we always do. But we decided to bust out our, our Sunday best. Our, our Italian clothes. Chris is dressed nicely. Yeah. Very, yeah. like, he's going the Italian mob boss, and I'm like the good-for-nothing son in yeah. his cheap Alfani t-shirt. Yeah, you want to take over the family business, you got to start acting serious. And they always do the slap cheeks. Well, like, Pop, I want to be a fashion designer in Milan. You can put everything you had your mind to for. <laughs> 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 so, uh, you got any thoughts on this matchup? I mean, we haven't seen it all, so yeah, this one is for the people. This is, I think this is what we expected from the drama side. We knew it was probably going to be Sopranos, like Breaking Bad. Game of Thrones was a, a bit of a dark horse, but inevitably like something that's a bit more serious drama and a bit more set in the real world, like Sopranos and Breaking Bad, I thought was going to come out. South Park was also probably one of three we were picturing. I was thinking it would be Seinfeld, Simpsons, or South Park. Mm -hmm. I would have maybe guessed South Park third just because of Simpsons longevity and I feel like everybody always says really good things about it. More And like, I think South Park can be a bit more divisive or hit or miss for a lot of people that just aren't into more crass humor and things like that at times if they view it that way. It's not always that. Right. So I think like the matchup was not too surprising this finals but yeah Seinfeld going up very early still surprised me I would have liked to see South Park versus Seinfeld because South Park and Simpsons did go up against one another and um, yeah I, I guess for me like you said neither of us have seen all of or most of Sopranos um, and while I, I guess more often than not, I kind of prefer a comedy TV show mm -hmm. as opposed to a serious drama. So if I were to pick the best TV show for myself of all time, I would go South Park because it still does do a lot of serious topics, uh, just in a comedic way. If Sopranos fans can correct me if I'm wrong here and say that Sopranos never made anybody laugh, I'm sure it did. Mm -hmm. You just gotta, I mean, this stereotypical Italian accent. It's right. <laughs> gonna make you laugh. Be like, look at these goobers. <laughs> Um, but I don't know if, like, I think it's probably because of Matt and Trey as writers. They can do comedy and talk about serious topics just as well as anybody so as, as writers and creative minds. I don't think the people in um, Sopranos, uh, the performers, nor the, the writers and producers would have been able to come up with comedic things uh, and do the things that South Park could do as well, so that's a, not a fair way to compare the two, because Sopranos <laughs> never wanted to be that, but I think South Park could, can do it all, so I'd pick that one. Yeah, those are good points. And you know, it's funny you bring up Sopranos as a comedy, because our buddy Craig, shout out Craig, told me, he said, give Sopranos another shot, but put it in your mind that it's a dark comedy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's really interesting, because then it would allow me to forgive more of the stuff that's kind of outdated to me and I haven't been shy about sharing my opinions on Sopranos. I got through the first season and it was a grind because I think so many Italian mob boss uh, stories and movies have kind of ripped from Sopranos. So for me, it was like going back to the thing that has been done to death, at least in my experience. Uh, but I'm going to take Craig's suggestion. I am going to go back through Sopranos and give it a go with that in mind because all these people can't be wrong i don't think yeah. so many people say it's the best show and shout out to the sopranos club on twitter that's given our twitter page a boost because 
all the matchups they retweeted. So we're getting, you know, more votes and we started doing this thing where they'll give us two truths and a lie about the show Sopranos yeah. and uh, and we'll shoot them and then, and then they'll retweet it. And it's a fun thing for their fans to engage with. Everyone's always just, people really love that show. Like yeah. they know it in and out, like all these facts, like they're throwing out characters that I didn't even remember <laughs> and then they're just super cool. Yeah. Um, all that being said, South Park is my favorite show of all time. I think if you have a Mount Rushmore of comedic minds of all time, a spot must be reserved for Matt and Trey if you want to put them together in one spot because they come as a pair. Yeah. But if you can't do that, two, <laughs> they're going to take up half your Mount Rushmore. There you go. Matt and Trey, find me any comic or creator that isn't inspired by those guys. Uh, it's it's tough. Like I like I'm kind of obsessed with stand-up comedy these days, and I listen to all these comics, and and there's never a bad thing to say about those guys. They they penetrated the mainstream. They they penetrated Hollywood all while not giving an f about being famous or making money, and they ended up being more famous and making more money than pretty much any star in Hollywood. And uh, do you remember? when Matt and Trey went to the Oscars on acid in dresses. A friend of ours had sugar cubes of LSD. It's so crazy now to think, like, <laughs> just so nuts. The whole idea you would go, I mean, even to just go, okay, you're gonna go to the Oscars, take acid and go to the Oscars. I'd be like, no, dude, I'm not doing that because I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. So they went and he got a plus one and he wasn't seeing anybody at the time. So yeah. he took Matt as his plus one. Yeah. And they were like, how funny would it be if Matt showed up in a dress and you know, whatever. And they're like, well, how funny would it be if we both showed up in dresses? Like, <laughs> if we if we wore these big old costumes, then they would just kick us out. But if we're wearing what the women are wearing, like what other people are wearing, they can't say anything about that. So they did it, the plan was in motion, and then, then they decided to go up another level and do it on acid. One of the trippiest parts of when you're on any psychedelics is transitioning, when you go inside to outside or outside to inside. I will never forget the moment getting out of the limo. And there's like 60,000 people and every camera in the Western Hemisphere there. And it was like, let's go. And they were like, they tell the story in that Six Days to Air documentary. Fascinating, document, fascinating documentary, by the way. And they tell the whole story. It's just, it's so funny that you actually can go back and look at the footage and they get called over to do interviews and they don't mention the dresses once. Mm. They just, anytime someone mentions the dresses, they just go. It's just such a magical evening and everyone, it's just everyone looks so spectacular, you know, we just wanted to be a part of it all. It's a night of magic. What? Come on. Yeah, it's just such a magical night and everyone looks so good here. Oh, that's good. Didn't mention the dresses, but you could just see it in their eyes and their faces. Like, they are messed up. Like, on <laughs> acid, it's so clear. And it's so wild that they had the balls to do that. Yeah. And I could just talk about those guys all day. But my vote for the best TV show of all time would be South Park. I've seen them all multiple times. I, I own all the DVDs, or at least up to like season 18 or 19. Um, but I've just watched it all. I'm just such a fan of those guys. My vote would be South Park. Yeah. I, I can't argue with you. We're, we're in agreement there when we're coming between these two. I would go South Park as well. We did have this finals for our best TV show bracket. Thrown up there on all the social medias, The Sopranos versus South Park. And then we tallied the votes. The vote said, Sopranos, great supreme. Sopranos, as voted by you, is the greatest TV show of all time. So we're gonna make sure we watch the show, m the whole show, I've seen most of the series, um, but this goes to Soprano. 100 uh, Suptus. Suptus. We think that's Italian for money. We asked Siri, that's what she said. Suptus. Uh, <laughs> we might have misheard. Best, best TV show, and we're gonna blur this out, maybe make it the thumbnail, who knows. Here you uh, go, okay. 100 Suptus for you. Congratulations, Sopranos. That was a really fun one. We love doing these pop culture ones. As we speak, we're doing the worst things, which is not pop culture. No. It's just been a lot of fun hearing everybody's just culture. Yeah, and it was just as much fun putting it together. Yeah. We, we were pulling out things out of our heinies, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. 
All right, well, thank you all for voting in our best TV show bracket. Thank you for your continued votes and continued support. And uh, let us know any ideas for things you'd want to see in the future.